pour it, that Hellcat, I floor it. They was hanging on me, hit the dealership and crushed them. Bank roll too big, got me hell. What is up guys, it's Upcom Sports here with a new look Miami Heat realistic rebuild. This is part one of this series. So if you guys want to see part two, make sure you drop a like on the video. Also, if you're new, make sure you go down, hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss a video. So if you're new, here are the settings that I like to use for this series and all of my rebuilds really. These after experimenting I found are the most realistic and the ones that I like best, the ones that play best and sim best. But injuries will be on for this and progression is a little bit knocked down. Also difficulty is on Hall of Fame. So looking at this Heat roster, they do have Jimmy Butler who they acquired. So that's the star player we're going to build around. And he's on a max deal for four years. So he's going to be here for a while. Goron's still here on a one year deal. We'll see if we bring him back. Bam, also a really nice young piece. Kaleo Olenek, a couple of really bad contracts on this team. Justice Winslow, though, on a pretty nice contract. He'll be a point guard in this video. Tyler Hero, who killed it in the summer league, will also be a big part off the bench. I will also be using storylines for the NBA draft. If you don't know what this is, basically it takes the potentials and the overalls of the rookies and randomizes some of them. So it'll make it a lot more interesting, a lot more realistic. So my scout will play a big part in this as well. And player mentorship I will be doing but I won't show it every season. I'll make sure to do it every season. If you don't know what this is, younger players can be mentored by veterans to learn their badges, which I think is pretty cool. So a guy like Tyler Hero can be mentored by a guy like Jimmy Butler. So that is really cool in this game. So the rotation for year one, as in all the rebuilds, I won't be making any moves for year one. I'll just set the rotation, see what this team can do out there. As the Heat do have their first round pick this season, not in 2021 though as it goes to the thunder but we'll see what we can do in this season probably playoffs for this team don't know if we'll win uh, a series but we'll see so on a new team jimmy butler is gonna be an all-star yet again and that is really nice to see as he is our star player so mvp of the league goes to lebron james on the lakers zion rookie of the year and Demarcus Cousins, six man, Sergi Ibaka, most improved, and Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year. All NBA teams, maybe Jimmy Butler made it as he actually did all NBA third team. So he played his butt off and averaged some pretty good numbers. I would like the scoring to be a little bit higher as the number one option, but we'll work on that. All rookie teams, it looks like. No one that we had, no Tyler Hero there as we did actually make the playoffs barely as the eighth seed i thought we weren't gonna make the playoffs but we did and we we're actually playing the philadelphia 76ers so jimmy butler versus his old team let's see if we can knock them off maybe goron played okay as the starting point guard uh, very average numbers justice winslow very promising tyler hero actually shot really good especially from three so he's gonna be nice off the bench for us as checking out the team stats on offense i don't expect us to be very high as we were one of the worst teams on defense though a little bit better i would assume yep so here in round one let's see if jimmy buckets can carry us in the playoffs as we lose game one we also lose game two and three and we get swept in round one so we'll check out if jimmy butler played well or who actually played well in the series dion with a nice game jimmy butler Oh my god, he, this is one of the worst choke jobs I've seen out of anyone ever in a simulation. Jimmy Butler shot 20% from the field and 20% from three. Josh Richardson was clamping him up. Oh my goodness. So I'm a little bit skeptical now of Jimmy Butler as our number one option, but we'll see what happens. The Rockets win it all. Westbrook Finals MVP. So as I mentioned, in this year's draft, we do have our own first round pick and it's probably gonna be just outside of the lottery as it is number 15. So we'll see what kind of player we can get there. So with the 15th pick in the draft, we're gonna select a point guard here, Mac McClung out of Georgetown, 6'4 point guard, super athletic. He is one of the craziest dunkers we've seen in a while at the point guard position. So he'll be really nice. And we're super limited as far as assets that we can trade so and also free agency so i'm just gonna be making a couple small trades here james johnson and a second round pick 
or Rudy Gay. They're both on one year deals. Rudy Gay is a little bit better, so we upgrade there. And this is going to be the rotation for year two. Justice Winslow is now going to be the starter at point guard. He's a lot better defensively than Drogic could be or will be. But I did bring back Goron as the backup. And we'll send, I guess, Mac McClung to the G League. He did get injured in Summer League, but same coach, same system. And it looks like Jimmy B is going to be an all-star again. So that is nice. At least he's being consistent. And we'll see if we made the playoffs. So the MVP is going to be James Harden for the Rockets. And Armando Bacot, Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man, Giannis Stevens, a player, Mark Helfold's most improved, and Mike D'Antoni got the Coach of the Year. All-NBA teams, did Jimmy Butler make it? No, he did not. But he does make all-defensive second team, which he didn't make the year before. So at least he's playing good defense. And we actually hopefully made the playoffs as we just barely missed the playoffs. Ninth seed, and we actually had a better record than last season. So that's kind of interesting. The Magic beat us out. The Bulls also beat us out for that playoff spot as we don't have our first round pick. So at least it wasn't too good. Winslow, though, played well as the starting point guard. Hero is getting better, like 40% from three. So that is going to be nice. Bam is also improving as we were a little, a lot better on offense. And on defense, we were the same. So the finals is the Rockets again and the Brooklyn Nets. So KD versus Harden, and it looks like the Brooklyn Nets win. KD wins finals MVP. And as I mentioned, we don't have our first round pick. It will go to the Thunder. Please don't let it get into the top three. That would hurt, and it doesn't. So it stays at 14. Not too bad, I mean. So we do have a second round pick in this draft, and we need some depth. And we're going to draft a power forward, Isaiah Jackson, out of Indiana, 6'9", 180 pounds. He'll be a project player, and he'll be in the G League maybe two seasons. Boy, we have money in free agency, and guess who made it? Paul George is here. He did sign a two-year deal, or he was on a two-year deal with the Clippers, so now he's a free agent, and we're going to throw him the money that he wants. We're going to give him the bag, see if he wants to come here. Victor Oladipo, just in case we don't get Paul George, he would also be a nice fit with Jimmy Butler, but hopefully we get one of these two players. That would be insane to pick them up as we actually get Paul George on the team, and it makes sense. Miami's a pretty big market in the NBA, one of the biggest, actually, we're giving him his money, so it does make sense that Paul George would come. So this looks like a small trade here. Getting rid of Myers Leonard, who I really like, but we got to trade him, and this is going to be huge. This is going to allow us to bring back Bam Adebayo and hold his rights so we can pay him. He's a restricted free agent, so this is going to be a huge trade for us. Now the team is looking saucy as heck. PG, we got Butler, Bam. Winslow, we got Rudy Gay, and Bam, we brought back on three years, 30 million. Tyler Hero, Mac McClung, we got Hazy Akpala off the bench. We're not as deep as I would want, but we're going to work on that. And we'll send Isaiah Jackson to the G League. Same coach, same everything. And as expected, we're going to end up with two all stars on the team Paul George, Jimmy Butler. So they're getting buckets. Let's see if we made the playoffs, though. So the MVP is going to be Stephen Curry on the Warriors and Scoochie Red Rookie of the Year, Jalen LeCue, six man, Anthony Davis, defensive player, and Mike D'Antoni, again, coach of the year. All NBA teams, Paul George, all NBA second team. That is why we paid him his money. He is 31, but he's still putting up insane numbers. Jimmy Butler, did he make it? He didn't, but we do have Paul George on all defensive first team and Jimmy Butler on all defensive first team. So two stud defenders, kind of like Kawhi, and PG, but a little bit watered down. Still insane, though. We did manage to grab the second seed in the East as we play the Orlando Magic in the first round. So that's going to be intense. Both really good defensive teams as checking out the stats. Paul George, we saw. Winslow, we saw. Tyler Hero, another really good season. Mac McClung was good off the bench. The bench is really nice. And we were the 10th best offense on defense, number two. In the battle of Miami, we got Orlando and us, and we lose game one. Okay, we better bounce back, and oh, we're down 2-0. We are down 2-0 in this series. 2-1, please, no, not an upset alert. 2-2, okay, we're coming back. 
Can we win three in a row? We do win three in a row. Are we gonna win four? We win four straight as we win in round one. Mo Bamba with a nice game. Fournier with 20, but just not enough. Paul George with 24. Winslow with 17 and seven. And in round two, we've got the Cleveland Cavaliers who knocked off the Brooklyn Nets for us. So we don't even have to take them down. We win both of the games in Miami. In Cleveland, they win it. Another one in Cleveland and we're up three to one. So they did us a huge favor and thank you, but you're gone. We win in five. Paul George with a 30 point game. 20 for Hero off the bench. He's been insane this whole video as Jimmy Butler didn't score enough, but playing that insane defense and they got Bogdan Bogdanovich. Nice pickup. Bro, what is up with these teams doing us all these favors? We play the eighth seeded Hornets. Why? I don't, I mean, we're gonna take it. We're probably gonna, wait, we lost game one. Okay, that is fine. One, one, two, one. I didn't even know we lost game one, but thank you Hornets for being the eighth seed and getting here as we are probably gonna win in five. And we do, thank you Cleveland. Thank you Charlotte for that easy path to the finals. Bam with 22 and 12 in that one. This team is not even that good. And in the NBA Finals, we've got a heavyweight matchup versus the Harden Westbrook Rockets. So James Harden is insane in this game. Russell Westbrook also insane with the triple doubles. Not the most efficient, but that doesn't matter in 2K. Clint Capello, they got Brandon Ingram as well. That's a nice piece. Dennis Schroeder, okay. This team definitely got better. Miami versus Houston in the finals. Who's going to take it? We lose game one. Harden with a 22-point game. So not a huge scoring night for either team. Paul George with a nice game. But Jimmy Butler has to step up the scoring in this finals. 2-0, we're down. Westbrook with almost a triple-double. Harden actually got clamped. But Butler with 23-22. And we win game three. That is good. Jimmy Butler with a 30-point game. Almost 40 Harden also 30 points. Game four, we're down three to one in this series. Tyler Hero led us in scoring. We need Jimmy Butler to step up. He has not been good in this series. As if we're gonna lose, then I'll probably hop in here for some gameplay. We're up four in this game. Please don't blow it. Harden with Jimmy Butler on him. I'm gonna play off ball. Oh my goodness. That's, that's bad. One point game here. We're gonna go to Paul George with a screen run a play for him i did not want that but he still hits it harden driving base on jimmy butler on him he gets blocked but they get the ball back and they're gonna have to throw something up paul george smothering the offense harden contested shot he misses that one and it goes out of bounds absolute clamp city right there all right we have a chance to push this lead even higher but bam in the corner for the mid-range is cash did not know he could shoot so we're up five in this game Harden with the ball jimmy butler on him gonna play on ball but why did he double team? two point game here jimmy butler with the ball is he clutch yes he is gets the contested layup and jimmy buckets pushes it to four now we got the ball again Paul George dribbling up to Bam for the throwdown. What an insane dunk. Rockets trying to get a shot as they don't. And we're going to win this game. So we're going to force a game six. Hopefully we don't lose game six. Because all of this would have been for nothing. But we are going to pull off this comeback right here with Paul George with Jimmy Butler. So we're back and game six. Please don't, don't lose this. I'm just going to sim it and we lose. Okay, so that was for nothing, but Westbrook gets a finals MVP under his belt. We'll check out the stats of that game six. Jimmy Butler with 20 points did his part. Winslow did good. Bam with a, oh my, PG. No, he he shot absolutely putrid in that game. Yeah. Will PG and Jimmy Butler bring Miami a championship? What role players can elevate the Heat's chances? Watch part two to find out, but make sure you drop a like. Leave a comment on the road to 500 subscribers.